I am very old school with the marking tools that I use. I do very detailed machine quilting, most often free motion machine quilting, and I want to have a detailed but fine line. I need to be able to see it when the work is under the sewing machine and you can get a bit of shadowing, and you need really good light, but I don't want my lines to be so obvious that the machine stitching isn't going to cover them and they're going to kind of stay and be seen. So here are the three tools that I use most often. So if I'm working with a light fabric, I just use ordinary pencils. But when I say ordinary pencils, I'm going to be a little bit more specific than that. It's not about the make. You do want a good quality make, so you don't want a cheap pencil that you get 10 in a packet for a pound or a dollar, something like that. It wants to be a quality pencil, but it needs to be a pencil with the lead of the correct hardness or softness. And just so that you know, pencils come in a really big range. Those of you that draw will be familiar with this. So the pencil that we see most often, that it's just our regular go-to day-to-day pencil, is an HB. And an HB kind of sits in the middle of the range, okay? And then as the pencil lead gets softer, which means you'll get a darker, thicker line, it goes up. So it goes HB, 2B, 3B, 4B, all the way to 9B, which is a very soft pencil. So that is the soft end. HB in the middle again. Now, as we go harder, before we go to 2H, 3H and so on, there is actually between HB and 2H is an F, and that stands for fine. So we go HB, F, 2H, 3H, 4H, all the way to 9H, H just standing for hard. So I will be choosing either the F pencil or the 2H pencil. So I am erring on the side of the harder pencil, which is going to give me a finer line, but I keep my pencil incredibly sharp. So you want a really good pencil sharpener and you need to be sharpening it often and you need to practice on the kind of the, the the darkness of the line how heavily you are pressing so if I'm using a light box and I've got an image on a light box on a piece of paper and then the quilt top is on top of that and I'm tracing through that I'm often switching the light of the light box off so that I can actually see what it is I've drawn there how um, defined that line is and you will get to know what works for you and it's worth doing a little bit of a kind of practice on that and when I'm stitching I aim to stitch exactly on the drawn line and most of the time I do achieve that but I do keep a fabric eraser this is a very old one it used to say fabric eraser make sure the eraser is clean and then if you are trying to get rid of a line kind of stretch the um, fabric between two fingers and rub carefully like so and that should take it off I mean having said that a regular eraser often works just as well but as I say make sure it's really clean so that you don't put a smudgy line on the fabric so that's what I do if I'm working with um, light fabrics what do I use when I'm using dark fabrics so with a dark fabric, I will choose most often a white chalk pencil. And um, I am going to give a brand name here. Let's hope they send me some. <laughs> this is an American company called The Generals, and they have been making pencils since, since 1889. And their, their pastel chalk white pencil is brilliant for marking on dark fabrics you get a really good line like so and if I'm marking a little dot I don't just do that what I do with it is I lick it like so 
and then I twist and I get a really defined um, mark with that. That is a fantastic pencil um, but again you need to sharpen it often because it more so than the regular pencil it does tend to be a thicker um, point to it. It does brush away and I keep a brush to brush it away. Often a stencil brush is really useful for brushing away and sometimes I'll dampen that um, to brush it away and sometimes and this is actually true for both light and dark um, fabrics sometimes I will use a yellow pencil um, because it'll just be a little bit less obvious than the um, regular pencil line or it'll just perhaps blend a little bit more into the fabric than the white pencil so a yellow just a regular yellow pencil crane is another um, pencil that I keep in my toolkit so as you can see I was not wrong when I said to you I'm very old school I keep it really simple I don't spend lots of money on it I use quality equipment I keep my equipment in good order and I get the results I need so give it a try see if it works for you if you've enjoyed that information and found it interesting, I teach a huge range of quilting classes through quiltersquestiontime.com. Starting with a beginner quilters class that takes you through the entire process from start to finish and series one quilters question time the transformational series designed to transform your quilting and take your enjoyment and the results that you make to the next level quiltersquestiontime.com